inching closer and closer to Halloween, which means it is time to get your costumes ready. <laughs> yes, I still have to think of something to be, but um, we're going to help you out today. A lot of the costumes can be really pricey, especially if you wear them only one time. So yeah. our very own Kelsey McFarland went to Goodwill to look at some affordable costumes that are easy on the environment. Kelsey, we are trying to figure out what you are exactly. We have several um, key guesses. thoughts, right. I should say, yeah, guesses on what you are. So tell us what you are and what you're doing this morning. Okay, so we didn't get any successful guesses. Okay. It sounds like I showed you previously I was Hawaiian Punch. I am a sandwich. I'm waiting for the reaction here. <laughs> The groans. Okay, so yes, the, lots of really great options. If you want to be, obviously, no one else is going to show up to a costume party with something creative like this, and it's affordable. So lots of really great options at Goodwill. I'm going to bring in Morgan Waldron to talk more about what Goodwill has to offer. Really great prices for $10, and it goes to a good cause. Yes, all the costumes you see here today were put together for under $10. Even some of them are $4, like the one you're wearing. Mm -hmm. um, it's a great cause because all the proceeds from our retail stores support career services and job training for people who are seeking thriving careers. And you can go get those services for free. So it's really a good cause when you shop or donate to Goodwill. Okay, that's very exciting. And it's for all ages, right? If you're an adult looking for an adult-sized costume, I want to show the other ones here that we have. Witch, a couple of witches here, and evil in true form. It's uh, 69 cents for that mask, by the way. But this is for all ages, right? Even if you're looking for kids. Yeah, definitely. We have family costumes, kids' costumes. There's a lot of kids' costumes this year because, you know, kids grow out of them, so we get those donated a lot. And then you also can find one-of-a-kind accessories, so like this beautiful... Um, skull or broom. <laughs> Those are like a dollar, but you can make that extra boost to your costume and make it unique with just an accessory. Right, and we were showing you uh, some some decor and some dog costumes earlier too, so you can find that on a budget. Let's talk about the benefits of it being secondhand and how that can be eco-friendly versus just a costume that you buy once and it ends up in a landfill. Definitely. When you shop at Goodwill, it's sustainable fashion, and that's really important as we continue to grow in the fast fashion industry to be mindful of if you can buy something reused, do that, and save money while you do it too. Mm -hmm. Okay, all good things, and uh, if you'd like to find it, today is a $1 price tag day, yes. right? So if you come in today, anything with a gray price tag is only a dollar, and it's Dollar Day Monday every Monday, so every Monday you can get it for a dollar. Dollar Day Monday. All right, guys, uh, I'm, Sandwich is going to be signing off here for now, but I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Up for Kelsey McFarland. She did a great job giving us some guessing games this morning, too. Um, all right, time now, 638. Fast fashion has a damaging impact on our environment, and we're talking about the cheap, trending clothing that you get just a few wears out of before they end up in the landfill, just like you heard Kelsey talking about. Scholars at Princeton say the industry uses excessive amounts of water, creates plastic microfibers, and is responsible for a lot of the world's carbon emissions. We talked to Lauren Fleshman. She's a local blogger who shows people how to find low and thrifted clothing no matter what your budget is and she says the key is making the life cycle of clothing last longer minimalist wardrobe circular fashion recycling your clothes renting clothes shopping at thrift stores shopping local slash shopping at uh, from brands that have higher quality products that last longer Lauren says the website Good On You can also help you figure out which brands are eco-friendly with their production and which brands are not.